and since when I mean, I'll stick strongly <coughs> rise to the top. A rise which, in fact, was a, what I suppose nearly brought to a premature end four years ago, today, this very day, today, yeah? when yeah. you had your heart yes, attack. Yes, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want anything but a laugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, you're all right. You're feeling all right. Yeah. I thought that was going to happen back there with Raquel, <laughs> but for a different reason. <laughs> And in a different place. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly fell over the equipment. <laughs> was there, a, I mean, it seems a daft question, but I wonder, was there at all a funny side to it, um, Eric? What, the illness? Mm. Oh, well, in a way, there was, you know. I, uh, I was at, uh, we were working at this club in Batley. There's two waiters. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, I, you know, I got a bit of a twinge in my arm, and I have to say to Ernie, uh, you know, I don't feel too good. I'll I'm go home tonight and... Uh, so I, I, I'll sign the autograph. I, I said, you sign the autograph. You sign the autograph, he said. So, of course, his wife always asked me for his autograph. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> She said, you were good tonight. You were good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I would draw home in the car. Thank you. All right. And I draw home in the car. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'll say you've got a lovely home here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Great, huh? <laughs> and the pain as I was driving home uh, towards Leeds, the pain's got worse and worse up my both arms and across the chest, you know, and I started to come out in the flop sweat and driving along. And I thought, now, funnily enough, I didn't realise, fortunately, it was a heart attack, you see, because had I thought it was a heart attack, I'd have had a heart attack and died. <laughs> Because I always thought, you know, a heart attack when you're behind you, behind you. But it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's just, just uh, like that yeah. at all. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I thought. That's why I walk. <laughs> and uh, I, I thought, well, I'd better put myself into a hospital, you know. And I was driving the car, it was getting worse. So it would be about half past one in the morning. And I stopped a fella in, uh, in Leeds. And I said, could you, you know, I don't feel very well. Do you think you could. I had a Jensen in those days. And um, I said, do you, do you feel you could take me to a hospital? I don't feel very well. I'd like to sign myself into a hospital. A fellow called Walter Butterworth. I'll never forget him. It wasn't his real name, but I'll never forget <laughs> him. And uh, he said, yes, oh, I. <laughs> hey, you're uh, 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 Morton and White. <laughs> and I said, oh, Morton Mork and White, yes. So he said, oh, well, I'll, I'll, I've never driven one of these. Tell me the territorials, I've only driven a tank. <laughs> this is true, this. So he gets in there and the 7,000 quid going... Chum, 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 <laughs> up the road. It was me going... Bio, bio, bio. <laughs> and I got to the stage where I couldn't have cared less, you know. So he takes me to a hospital and he's locked. It's <laughs> true. And there's some French windows and he's going... Bing, bing, on the French windows. But I'm stood at the side of him. Like this. And these windows open like that. A fellow there in braces and uh, a pair of pants. He goes, Can't come in here. <coughs> he said, Look, what's the matter? Them? <laughs> Can't. So he opens a little crack. He said, This isn't a proper hospital. He said, You want the, the one, the main one up the road. So he explained where it was. And he drove me there to this water. And I got out of the car and he ran around. It was up a brew, you know, up a hill. Yeah. And uh, he went in there to try and get me either some. Uh, form of uh, wheelchair, you know. So he said, five minutes. I'm still waiting. <laughs> so I start to walk up this hill. <laughs> Quasimodo going up there, you know. <laughs> and I go in there, and he's obviously said to the fellow behind the counter, he said, Eric Morecambe's out there, and he's not very well. Could I have, and the fellow wouldn't let him have a chair, as far as I can make So I walked in, and the fellow looked at me and went, oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> uh, and he says to all the boils and the cuts and the slashes in the corner there, in the outpatients there, but, hey, it is him. <laughs> yeah. It's true, you know. So I say, now my real name is, is Bartholomew. I never tell anybody that, but my real name is Bartholomew. <laughs> so he says, you don't look too good, son. I said, no, I'd, I'd like to sign, put myself into a hospital, you see. He said, well, right. Now then. Name. <laughs> so I thought, well, I, I won't say about that. I said, Morecambe. He said, oh, all right, Morecambe. Address, which I gave him. Age, which I lied about. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He said, you don't look too well, you better go lie down on that thing. So I'm lying down on the stretcher there. The next thing I know, I'm being injected. This Walter Butterworth is sat with me. And I said, I, I, I'd like to say thank you very much for all your help and everything. He said, oh, that's all right. It's my pleasure. He says, my mates won't believe this. <laughs> he says, and this is the exact words he used. He says, will you do us a favour? I said, what? He said, before you go, will you see me? <laughs> see that? <laughs> Four years ago tonight, that. Yeah. Big story, this uh, relationship.